Welcome back at okay. Souders. We're back with another podcast episode. Today we have with us Arnas Quintalas. Who is Arnas Quintalas? Well, Arnas, give us our people a proper introduction of yourself, who you are, what did you accomplish, and what is your story? I'm a passionate entrepreneur kid. I tried a bunch of side hustles and I was really passionate about business when I was like 14. I started at 14. And 11 months ago, more than 11 months ago, on November 28, 2020, I started my page Passionate Income on Instagram, which now has more than 870,000 followers. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. What is, what is something that you, that you haven't done in the beginning that you have learned and now like, so what are some lessons that you would give to your self once you started? I would say believe in myself because when I started, I gained 800 followers in my first month, something like that. And it was really slow. And I didn't believe in myself that I can really make a huge business out of it. And I thought, well, if I can grow 10,000 in a year, that would be great or something like that. So I would say to myself, just believe in yourself. Keep uploading consistently as I did and stick to one strategy and don't fix what's not, uh, what's working just if it's working leave it that way that's it yeah that's crazy what are some tips that you would give to someone who's starting out on growing their page something in something that's in your niche which is reposting other people's content yeah so on the internet you can find plenty of content millions of videos every single day are created right and you can create and you can repost any of them, you know, you can repost one of that million. And the hardest thing is to choose which one is valuable and which one is not valuable, right? So for everyone that wants to start something like that, like passionate income, I would say the biggest thing is to provide value. When you look at the video, just think to yourself, would I watch this? If I would be a follower of uh, and that's what I would tell to myself. If I would be a follower of passionate income, would I scroll, scroll through it or would I watch it, right? And then you can feel it like, well, this video is valuable, but this one is not really. This is just hype and this is this just doesn't provide any value. This doesn't motivate. This doesn't teach anything about business or money or investing. I won't upload that, but this video... This teaches about how to invest in S and P 500, which can change someone's life, right? Okay, I'll upload that one. You know, so I would tell everybody, just focus on providing value. When I was, when I started, I didn't understand what providing value means, right? But now I understand. So basically, just think, what do you give for free out to your audience, right? Do they, if they follow you? what they can learn in one month. Can they get motivated from your page? Can they learn something new? What, what do you learn from it, right? Ask yourself that and then you'll be on the right path. Mm -hmm. And it's not only like providing value, it's also like keeping the audience engaged because you can have like yeah. the best value ever, but if you don't know how to keep the audience engaged, then they won't watch a video. If your audio yeah. is not good or like the video is not good, or you don't yeah. like put in zoom effects, subtitles or overlays, they'll become bored. No matter how good it yeah. is. The video should be high quality. Audio recording should be high quality to don't upload video that is screen you recorded five times and has terrible quality. Just don't do it. Just try to provide as much value and try to upload the best quality videos you can. That's it. Yes. And I feel like before you can, if you don't, if you don't have any other person to send it to so you can, they can check your video, then if you give it like a 12 out of 10, your, the video quality or like the quality of your, of your content, then it's 10 out of 10 because we're biased yeah. with your own, with your own projects. So make sure you yeah. give the actual value of your project below <laughs> of what you give it because we're biased to our own content. Yeah. If you think it's nine out of 10, it's probably seven out of 10, right? Or probably lower. Yeah. Or yeah. probably lower. Right. <laughs> I mean, and you never know which social media, the videos I thought will be the worst ones I upload uh, end up the best ones. And 
get 10, 000, 10 million views, right? Mm -hmm. So just think about this, this video will provide value, yes, but uh, there's a lot of times I look at it and I think, well, this won't get a lot of likes and it blows up like crazy. And sometimes I find the video and I tell it to myself, well, this is amazing. And I upload it and nothing happens, right? So it's just social media world. That's how it works. If you like it, doesn't mean everyone on social media like will it. like it. Yeah. So you just got to, you know, work with that. So what should be like the correct metric of deciding if you, sh if you should post a video or not? Yeah. So when I repost the video, I look how long it is. Of course, I don't want the video to be too long or really, really long because people usually don't have a lot of, uh, you know, attention and they just scroll through. So if the video has is 20 seconds and you see a lot of people engaging with it, let's say it has 5,000 likes you read the comments, the comments are positive. That's a big thing. Well, you can post some, uh, things that are negative too, like that get a lot of hate. That's a growth strategy too, because people leave a comment when they hate and Instagram doesn't see if it's hate or positive. So it just pushes yes. the content, but, but you, you, you don't want to do that too much. I play around with that in the start, but it's better to post positive posts. So I would read comments before reposting. I would see how many likes, how many views did the video get? And I think the best metric is 10% uh, of your viewers should engage in with your content. So that means, let's say you got a hundred thousand views, you should get around 10,000 likes. If it's mm -hmm. lower then the video is not that good. If it's higher, the video is amazing. <laughs> so, so, so that's a metric. Did you delete a post that didn't perform well? No, I look before reposting on TikTok. Uh, right. I see a video on TikTok, which let's say has 120,000 views. If it has around 12,000 likes, which is 10%, right. Then it's amazing. Right. It's just gold. If it has a bit less, it's okay. If it has like 10,000, 9,000, mm. it's okay. But let's say if it gets 120,000 views and it gets 2000 likes, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. And th that means a lot of people watch the video, but didn't engage with the video. That means the, they, the watch time was good, but they, they didn't really like the video or they didn't feel that there was enough value to like the video or comment. So yeah, I, I, I use this metric. Okay. So the, the most important metric for you is like this, what you just explained, or do you have like any other metrics? Do you go also go with your gut feeling or is mostly. I look at this metric a lot. And I try to re-upload videos that have more than 5,000 likes, right? I don't want to upload something that has 2,000 2, views and 200 likes, right? Mm. No, I, I want to upload something that is already, uh, that has already got attention on TikTok, you know, because it, if it got attention on TikTok, it will probably get attention on Instagram. That's how it just works. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a good paper because I spoke with an influencer who is, has 1 million on TikTok and 100,000 on Instagram. And they told me, and they told me like most of my videos that did well on TikTok also did well on Instagram. Okay. This is not always yeah. the case, but 80% of my videos that did well on TikTok, they also did well on yeah, Instagram. So it's exactly. a good metric to follow, I think. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So for some people that are just starting out with reposting content, what are some things that they should be aware of so they don't end up with uh, with a lawsuit or like end up going to court because of some student mistakes that they weren't even aware of. Yeah. Okay. First things first, I was, I had one problem with copyright. So what you never do is you never cut, cut off the ends or cut off the start or add a text, you know, or just edit the video. If the video is uploaded on TikTok that way, you just take the video and you post repost the full video just the way it mm. was made if you add some more text on it you know some effects uh, or just cut out 
you know, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds of the video, something like that, that's considered as copyright because you took someone's video and you use for your own content, right? You don't want to do that. You don't want to slap the logo on someone's head. No, <laughs> you know, you don't want to do that. Just if you repost it, repost it how it is. Because well, I had one time I repost someone's post and in the end it said like, well, how did you learn this? Well, I followed this guy, right? And a lot of influencers do that, uh, you know? And I thought I'll just cut off the end because I didn't like it. And I thought everyone who watches the video on my page will think it's an advertisement. And the video did pretty well and the creator saw it. And then he, he reported me for copyright and he was a bit angry, but what you do in this situation, you need to be nice. Okay. I was nice. I deleted the video like that. I still got copyright, but I deleted the video. I said, sorry, look, the next time I upload, I will just ask you if I can do, I can do uh, this video that way. And I won't cut up the ends and anything, and I will give credits and all that stuff. And he said, yeah, you can do it. Second thing is always give credits. It doesn't hurt your profile uh, or anything like that. I see a lot of big pages that are not doing it and they can really easy, easily end up with a lawsuit. Just every video you upload, if you didn't make it, just give credits. That's it. Uh, a lot of people think that, well, if I tag the original creator and give them credits, all the followers will go to them. No, that's not the case. They will, maybe 10% of the audience that like mm. will go on their profile and look at it. And if they like it, they'll follow it. But that's a win-win situation. You grow from it and the creator grows from it. That's how it works. You need to be genuine in this space. So, and if anyone asks you to remove the video, just don't overthink it. Don't complain. It's not your video. You remove it that quickly. Be professional. If someone really asks you to do it, do it as fast as possible. Be very nice with creators and uh, they will thank you later because you will build a relationship with them. And now I have a huge relationship with a lot of different creators. And they thank me that I repost their videos. So uh, if you're nice with them, they're totally okay with reposting because by the end of the day, they grow when you post too. Mm -hmm. So they want to grow, right? Everyone's goal on social media is to grow. And uh, if you give credits and you're nice to them and you give them some tips, let's say I had this lady who's posting financial tips on TikTok. And I went on, their, uh, on her Instagram account and she had, didn't upload any reels, but she was a really good creator. And I told her, well, you know, I messaged her. I said, why, why don't you upload reels? She said, well, I don't really know how to do it. You know, how to remove the watermark and all that stuff. I said, look, you do this, 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 and that. Uh, you got the video, you upload, you use these hashtags. And, you know, all that stuff. He said, well, thank you. I see you have a big page. If you want to repost anything, you know, on your page, feel free to do it. I'm totally okay with that. And that was really good because I helped her. And now she's okay with reposting her videos. And her videos are amazing, right? And I can repost like 10 of her videos in the next six months, right? So it's kind of a long term relationship right and when you build that then you're set then everyone is happy that you're reposting yeah mm -hmm. yes i agree because it's not, it's not only that person because also that person knows other people in their niche because most likely if you're yeah. an influencer you know other influencers so if you treat yeah. one one person nine then most likely they will know another 10 of them because most likely most influencers have a groups of influencers so if you did something very yeah. extraordinary to them you, they will send your name in the group and like bro I gained this many, this many followers from this guy. He's a really nice guy. He really has good intentions. So you would then yeah. connect you to more influencers and those influencers know other influencers. So it's like, it's a circle. You treat one person yeah. nice, you in 10, then a hundred, then a thousand, and you keep going, you that's have a limited it. content. Because and after, that, after that a certain goes. point, 
they, you will need to find content. You, they will just send it yeah. to you. So you do nothing, yeah. you just repost it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that goes in a different way too. If you treat someone negatively and they ask you to remove the video and you tell them, well, this is my business, please understand well, and all that stuff. And they really don't want their video on your profile and you don't delete it. Then they will tell the same thing, you know, to their group mm. of 10 people, which you know 10 more people and it will, by the end of the day, you have hundred people that know that you're not trustworthy and you're not worth dealing with. So just be nice uh, to everyone. If they ask you anything, just help them. Always provide them value. I always come with value. I tell before reposting, I send them the video. I tell, hey, look, I have this page. I really love your content. You're doing great. Are you okay with me reposting this video? If not, it will be totally cool. I can, uh, when I post it, I can delete it anytime if you want. I will credit to you, give credits in the caption, and it will be a win-win situation because you'll grow and you, you'll get your face out there, you know, and it will be much easier for you to grow your personal. By the way, I can give you any tips uh, and tricks you need for Instagram growth. I will always be here. If you want anything from me, just ask and that's it. I'll help. And then when you message them that way, they probably will say yes. Well, 95% of them will say yes, you know, and some of them say no, and you just got to deal with it. You say, thank you. Uh, I completely understand you. Uh, I won't repost your videos. That's it, you know, and, and that's how you do it. And then you remember the names of people you can't repost, and you remember the names of people that really appreciate when you repost. And... And that's how it goes. <laughs> Do you really understand them? Because in my in my case, it doesn't make sense for people to say no in the situation because you both win in this. Yeah. Well, so, some people's argument is, well, I put in so much work and you want to take the growth from me or something like that. But it, social media doesn't work like that. Like wealth doesn't work like that. If I make $100,000 in one day, that doesn't mean I a thousand dollars from everyone uh, from a hundred people in one day. That doesn't mean I did that. Right. Money is everywhere. Uh, people are everywhere and that, does, that doesn't work like that. So, I mean, some people just don't understand it. I don't like it. And I'm completely fine with that. I don't tell them, well, you don't understand how social media works then. Now you just say, okay, Thank you. I understand you. Uh, goodbye. If you need any help, you know, I'll be here. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just some people just want to win alone. They think like they're going to become rich and famous on their own. Well, they can, they can do that. But if you have a team around you, then it's much better because this is how yeah. humans evolved. We didn't evolve by building our own house. We evolved by working together. We're social creatures. Although yeah. some of us are introverts, we got here by cooperating you don't you don't go down the street and people beat you up no they say hi yeah they say thank you and stuff so this is how we yeah exactly exactly and i mean if i reach out to anybody that's just a new creator right i know about instagram much more probably much more than they know because i've been in this space for almost a year every single day because i haven't missed an upload you know three times a day every single day for a year so i know how instagram works how Seven insights times work a day. Three times a day, yeah, three times a day. Seven times a week, sorry. Yeah, seven times a week, every single day for a year. <laughs> yeah, I haven't missed an upload. Seven times a week, 24 seven, I'm working. So, but you know, I know much more than they probably know when they just start. So if I offer them any help and I'm free to, uh, to answer any questions, right? And if I offer them help, you know, we can grow much faster together when I give them all the tips and the tricks and everything, right? So that's just how it is. Mr. Beast was on a podcast one day and they said like, he said that when he was small, he had a group of friends where they all learned and exchanged like value together. They went on a, on a call and they talked for hours of what did, what did each person learn? Because if, if you do a mistake and you share it with the, with the other five people, then you can do five mistakes and you can be five steps ahead. But if you try, if you yeah. do like trial and error on your own, then you're going to move one step at a time. 
So like it's good, it's better to communicate, yeah. except if you're that selfish and you don't want other people to win. So then you grow slower, but you can learn by other people by watching their interviews and podcasts and books and journals. I mean, uh, if you're selfish or other people growing, you'll have just a cap where you can grow like, let's say 5,000 a month and that's it. Because if you're not networking with other people, if you're not delegating your work, you can grow it, it's basically like you're having your own job you're you're self-employed right and if you want to build a true business what you need to do is network talk with other people delegate the easy work let's say answering dms is easy work so you can delegate that you know if you have an editor and you just need to post let's say on tiktok like how i need to do that i have an editor and a manager so editor makes the videos, manager uploads that, okay? I don't need to spend time thinking of ideas, well, how to create a video and everything. You just delegate the work and the time you would spend on editing and uploading it and doing all that stuff, you just network with people and you try to gain as much knowledge as you can. And you don't do the same mistakes as other people did. And that's how you grow the fastest. Yes, yeah. that's true because you can you can communicate with people and share your thoughts and opinions and knowledge and if you're wrong then that's good because they will counter yeah. argument your knowledge and you will learn more stuff. Yeah. So they're providing you with value for free just by sharing what yeah. you learned and they will teach you back like no you're wrong here's why. So it's a win-win situation you're learning to learn for free. People spend thousands on courses and books and yeah. podcasts and you can just DM people and just be nice and then yeah. and they will feel free to like give you feedback and stuff. And this is so valuable because people pay thousands for people to mentor them on consulting and yeah. this stuff. So you can just I mean, get value and you get, get value back. It's nothing bad with like buying mentorships and anything like that. But I can tell you from my own experience, one DM can go so far. You can mm -hmm. only imagine like one DM for me, I would always, you know, watch some creators and see some people on social media. I would really, you know, admire. And I, I started messaging people with passionate income. And I would say, hey, my name is Arnas. I'm, you know, from Europe. I, I do social media and I'm pretty good at it. If you need any help, you know, I would also tell them, I love what you're doing. You're amazing. You know, I would love to work with you one day. If you need any help with social media, I'm here, right? And, and that's how you start the conversation. And then a couple of weeks ago, you, 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 you say, hey, I saw your new post. That's amazing. You know, I saw your new car. Wow. Congratulations. Right. <laughs> then you tell them, do you want to go on a Zoom call, 15 minute Zoom call with me? 15 minutes works good because busy people, businessmen are usually really busy and they don't have time. So what, what do you tell them? Can you go on 10 to 15 minutes Zoom call with me? You talk with them and in my personal experience, I'm from Lithuania, a very small country, but, uh, you know, I shot, I shot my shot and now I live in Spain and I have a really good business partner slash mentor who's 43 years old. So he's 25 years older than me and I'm learning from him every single day because he was a he is a businessman for already 21 years. So I'm learning from him just by shooting one DM. So networking is crazy. It's very powerful because you get like yeah. decades of knowledge in that one message. And like you miss a hundred percent of your shots that you don't take. So exactly, exactly. so many things just by asking. I have accomplished so many things just by asking and I just started. You never know people's yeah. intentions, so you don't lose like 10 seconds just by te just by texting someone. It's 10 seconds. Yeah, they could change exactly. your life. You don't know who they know. And worst case scenario, they say, no, okay, you lost 10 seconds, but you learned something. Yeah, yeah exactly. And every time I consult people, you know, because sometimes I consult people on Instagram growth and they tell me, well, like, how can I utilize this? I tell them, just go on TikTok, go on Instagram, go on YouTube find the best creators you really admire, find the best businessmen or fitness people, anything, you know, you're passionate about and just sh shoot them a message. That's it. And 
you know, some people get great results, like they change their perspective and then let's say they start doing TikTok, right? Instead of Instagram. But it all starts with just shooting one message and it doesn't take a lot of time, like you said. So I completely agree with you. Mm -hmm. And I think that I think people under undervalue the value of mentorship and consulting calls and all these consulting membership programs because when you pay for something then most likely since you paid money for it you're more likely to stick to it and learn from it yeah. and your information stays in your brain also if you pay money to someone then they have the obligation to perform and give you valuable knowledge it's different to from watching a free youtube video of course there has knowledge in there but it's different from paying a thousand euros for example consulting yeah. program or like a consulting call because if you're in a thousand euros consulting call, cool, then they're going to provide every single thing that they have. And even more before that, yeah. before that call, they're going to spend some time educating more and more and more because they want you to come back. They want you to recommend them. You, they want you to like yeah. do well so you can, they can have you as a reference or like they can show you your results. That's what I, with, with Michael, he gave me like an, an open opportunity because I was making zero, zero euros before I was giving free, free knowledge. And he gave me bro, Come on my channel, I'll pay you this amount, which was no pay for me. Like I'm going to show yeah. my results with good content and I'm going to get paid a significant amount for yeah. a beginner, which is very good. Most people work for free. So I'm like, yeah. why not? And then I showed my results exactly. and I can tell you, hey, Arnas, I got 55 million views in 28 days. I, do, I took him from 500 to 42,000. And why yeah. wouldn't you accept a deal with me? It's crazy. So yeah, exactly. And like Alex Hermosi. Free. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, like Alex Hermosi says, you need to make an offer that people feel stupid to say no, right? <laughs> when you make a good offer, people will just accept it. And about the courses, yeah, a lot of people hate on courses. And, you know, courses are the gold mine of this era because there are so many of them. And yeah, some of them are considered as scam, right? Well, if you're buying like a dropshipping course, which was made in 2016 and 2021, yeah, you won't gain any knowledge or anything like that because it's too old. But let's say uh, the same person, Alex Hermosi said the best course he bought in his entire life was Facebook ads course, which he paid $700 to. He opened up a course and it was 40 minute video of how to run Facebook ads. And he said, that was the best course of my life because it was only 40 minute video and I didn't need to watch like five hours of content. It was really compressed. Mm. And I understood that that's it. I paid 700 bucks and I, you know, he turned it in hundreds of millions of dollars. So he said, that's the best course I ever bought. Right. And mm. some people when they would buy something for $700 and open the course up, they would say what 40 minutes video. And they wouldn't understand that that course is really valuable. It's just compressed, right? And the information is really easy to understand when it's mm. in 40 minutes, rather than you watch the course for five days and you, you know, <laughs> forget half of it. So, yeah. Yes, I have to take that more into consideration because when I find courses on Udemy, I watch also like the time that they take because I feel like yeah. the more time that it take, it has more knowledge, but this is, may this is not the case. No. Not the case. They, a lot of course sellers use a lot of filler words and, and you know, they have some mindset training in their course. That is not really, you know, valuable. Mm. All you need if you buy a course, I wouldn't buy a course which says how I made, you know, $100 million in one day. No. And the, don't buy like a dream. But if you buy Facebook ads course, if you buy, let's say, YouTube growth course, if you buy Instagram growth course, if you have buy a course which says how to build a, and establish a personal brand. Yeah. Uh, how to build a click funnel, you know, a click funnel has the course, but still, if you buy the courses on certain skills like sales, negotiation, you know, business management, if you buy something like that, then you're all good to go, you know? Mm -hmm. Just don't get in the rat race like Instagram and TikTok gurus that trying to tell you a dream. Well, some of them are, but not 
you you need to do your own research, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not selling any courses right now. I just do one-on-one consulting because in my opinion, I believe that works the best when I talk with a person one-on-one, right? But for some people, course to watch a course is much easier because some people are shy, are are introverts, and they want don't want to talk on camera with with a random dude off the internet, right? So they would rather watch a video and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's true. What would you say to people that I feel like you can agree with me, but for people that don't have the money to spend like money on courses or like consulting calls and some stuff, there's pretty much a lot of information on the internet that's free. So when you make, when you make enough money to spend money on a course, you could, you can do that. And I recommend you doing that because it's not, it's not only working hard, it's also working smart. And that's so undervalued. Yeah. If you're spending all your day, like doing something that is not providing any results, then you're just wasting your time. Yeah. I mean, you can start off for free. 100%. I started for free. Well, I bought some courses in the past, but look, you can find almost anything you need on the internet. There are websites like Z library or something like that, where you can mm. find any book in the world, or let's say how I started. I always was, you know, a passionate entrepreneur, but I read Rich That Poor That. I, I listened to an audio book, which is, was free on YouTube, right? Anyone can go and listen to it. I listened to it and it changed my mindset and it really motivated me to start passionate income. And I didn't know a, a, a lot about Instagram, but what I did, you go on YouTube, you find plenty of creators, you watch, 10 hours worth of videos about Instagram. Okay, now you know something. So now you can start, you know? So then I started Instagram page. What do you do then? I thought, should I buy a course or what? No, I I, I thought I'll hold on 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 that Instagram course, right? Because there are plenty of them. And I told myself, well, I'll try to network with other pages. I'll see what the best growing pages and the fastest growing pages are doing at the moment and i'll try to listen to more advice on youtube then what you do you take all this knowledge you network with some people they give you some free tips you give them some free tips and by the end of the day you're king of instagram or king of any social media you choose right Mm -hmm. and then you know a lot about it and then when you start making money let's say you want to improve your sales skills because you see you have a lack of sales skills while you're trying to close deals with someone, right? While doing your business. Yeah, you can buy a sales course, you know, anyone. You don't need to buy Jordan Belfort, you know, course for $7,000. You don't need to do that. You can basically read some books for free. Let's say 30 best, books on sales and you'll learn the same thing you can buy you can find books for free online right (laughs) so you can buy a course you can read books there are so many books in the world Uh, you want to try to invest in cryptocurrency there are plenty of books on that already you want to try to invest in the stock market what do you do you read the best 10 best books about investing boom it will take what uh, if you're a slow reader what 20 weeks you read one book per two weeks you read 10 books 20 weeks oh you think 20 weeks is a long time well think about it if you read the, the 20 weeks will go and you'll learn about investing if you don't read the books 20 weeks will go through anyway so <laughs> it's your choice right yeah, so it's your choice and you can't complain at this day and age where you can just Google the book and you'll find the PDF version of it and you can just consume all the knowledge and that's it. Yes, you yeah. have two choices. You can either buy it or you can like find it online. Like yeah. you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You, ha- you have two choices. Now with the, with the power of the internet, you can do anything you want basically. Yeah, I mean, books nowadays cost like 10, 15 bucks right, per book usually. And what, 10 books will cost you 100, 150 bucks. I mean, you can get a side gig. You can get, I don't know, you can do anything to make 150 bucks, right? And that's not a huge amount of money. 
So yeah. uh, you, you just make it and you buy the books if you enjoy reading a hard top book. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if you just read like 10 minutes per day, what's that going to hurt? Yeah. What are you going to do with those 10 minutes? Are you going to scroll on TikTok? Yeah. I feel like people have like hours and hours that they can save. First of all, yeah. if you feel tired, go to sleep. Stick to a yeah. sleeping schedule. Then you have, yeah. you'll be much more productive. You already saved like two hours from resting and being on your, on your bed, watching TikToks, doing literally Yeah, nothing. exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I completely agree with you. By the way, bro, how, yeah. much time, how much time do we have? I mean, I need to go in a couple of minutes. Yeah, you know, we, we have some time for a couple of more questions. Okay. One second, bro. Okay. Okay. So one last question that we have, what would you give? What's, what's one piece of advice that you would give to your, to your younger self? Like when you started off with Instagram? With Instagram, I would tell myself, uh, study all the biggest pages, be very consistent and believe in myself because it was really hard at first. The one you gained 800 followers in the first month. And you think you'll grow like 10,000 followers in the first year, right? Just believe in yourself and study all the content. And what I would tell my, my mindset was bad when I started. I would tell myself, don't treat it as a side gig or a small project or anything like that. People like to do that. Treat it as your business. When people ask who you are. Well, I'm an inspiring entrepreneur. I'm the founder of Passionate Income, no matter if it has a thousand followers, okay? Treat it as a business from day one. That will change your mindset. You know, some people start Instagram page and the, their environment is not that good, so they don't tell anybody that they're doing this. No, if you tell everybody, look, this is my business. I'm serious about it. And if I have to do something about it, well, friends, Sorry, I won't meet you today. You know, parents, please understand me. You know, I'll be working a lot on this, uh, you know, and you need to treat it as a business. You need to tell everybody, uh, well, mm, people around you, not everybody, but people around you, you, you don't hide it from them. Just tell them, look, this is my business now and be serious about it. Some people will laugh and that's how you will choose, you know, who is a good friend and uh, who is a good person to hang around with. Mm -hmm. uh, the people who will support you, they will support you all the way through. If they support you in the start when you have a thousand followers, they will really support you when you have a million, okay? And that's how you choose. And the ones that don't support you when you have a thousand, well, they will absolutely hate you when you have a million <laughs> and i can tell you that from my own experience so i would just tell treat it as a true business and you talk it talk about it as a real business and do everything as a real business then everything will fall into place because let's say i had a vacation you know with my family and friends right and if they uh, would have not known that I have this brand, right? And it was not like, it was big, like a hundred K followers, but not like too huge, you know? If I would have not told them that I have this brand and I was on vacation in Greece, you know, you don't want to upload anything. But what I've done is I told everyone, look, this is my business. I'm serious about it. And every time the clock would hit, you know, the time to upload, I would just go to my room. I will, I would find the video and I would upload it. And everyone was okay with that because they saw that I was serious about it. And that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's the advice. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like the last point to add here before we uh, end the podcast is that a few people just don't know what you're doing. So they might not support you in this thing, but they may, they might not support the project, but they may support you. They might tell you, bro, I don't think, I don't know what you're doing. So I cannot give you anything. Yeah. If you think you're going to do it, then do it. I'm just here. But yeah, but some people may say, bro, I don't think you can do this because there's very low chances of you succeeding. They're going to be true with you, but if they were, they might tell you, bro, if you think you can do it, then I will support yeah. you. But I won't like, yeah, exactly. Keep you delusional if you, Not, if you cannot do it. Yeah. I mean, if you tell your friends, you'll, 
be a millionaire in one year. That's like, that can be done, right? That can be done, but it's a really small chance you can do it, right? Really small chance. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can believe it and, you know, you yes. believe it, you achieve it. But if your friend tells, well, shut the, you know, <laughs> you, you, you won't do it. Just tell like, look, I'm serious about it. And I understand that it sounds a bit crazy, but that's my mm -hmm. goal right now. You know, and if they, they're real with you, that's even better. <laughs> okay. Thank you, bro, for coming on. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more epic episodes like this. We have mastered, we, we know what we're doing now, so stay tuned to find out more value information. Peace.